Good morning, folks. 2012 Noctilucent Clouds on the left, 2013 on the right. Of course, we only have half a year for 2013 so far, but Noctilucent Clouds are appearing earlier, lasting longer into the year, getting more intense, straying to lower and lower latitudes as the atmosphere collapses, planet over-energizes, and the climate shifts. NASA's CARVE goal is to investigate the methane and other rapid melting factors in the Arctic. I highly recommend following the link to this article and accompanying video, as methane is likely the scariest carbon emission, natural or man-made. NOAA has regional climate reports and outlooks. Got one for everyone in this part of the world, from Nova Scotia to Hawaii, Northwest Hemisphere, check it out. And check this out. Monsoon we've been reporting over India that costs so much death, Still not over. The rain and thunder is a daily lashing, but they really need the rain just south of the zone that's getting it, in Sumatra. You might remember a few days ago I reported major air quality issues due to pollution mixing with the smoke from these fires. It's now an issue over an even larger area, and arrests are even being made. U.S. had its own rough weather last night. Boy, that Gulf Energy loves letting loose if it gets to the Midwest. St. Louis to Chicago and just west of that line got whacked last night and guess what's coming again. Spread the watch east through Ohio tonight as that air and moisture are racing north as fast as they can. Also don't forget that tropical storm south of Mexico either. Gamma Burst Week-long drought ends with a flash from Cepheus in Celestial North. Flaring has been on a steady decline. Yesterday's high moment was a C9.9 .9 shadow river called an M Flare wannabe did not produce a significant CME. And since that moment, the sun has started to flatline. This is likely due to sunspot decay. My hopes for atmospheric expansion from flares, which we desperately need, is all but dashed as development turns the limb and flounders into decay on the south. There was one eruption of note, however, center disk on the north, moments before the news, so if you're watching, you have more updated satellites, but there goes our filament, appears to be headed north of our planet. You remember the solar wind impact we were taking in past days? It appears waning with elevated speed remaining, but minor density. KP index showing evidence of slight disturbance, but also calming conditions on the trend. Electron flux is still elevated, but holding at least. Proton storm on the decline with waning influence on the polar regions, as you can see here on the DRAP. Folks, transequatorial coronal holes. Center disk. Here she is, but can she show up the northern coronal hole who couldn't match his smaller but transequatorial sister? Well, we already had a 6.4 in the northern Atlantic, which followed a 5-pointer. Largest human reading of this was 6.9, and a computer caught it as 6.8. 6.5 appears to be the official magnitude. Papua New Guinea was a big concern yesterday, but it has quieted now, with New Zealand getting in the mix. Weather watches, coronal holes, and decaying sunspots on the disk. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.